Hey guys, what's up? It's Lily here, and today I am showing you how to make a homemade Starbucks eggnog latte. So, I hope you like this, and let's get on to the video. Okay, so what you'll need to make this is a jar, it doesn't really matter, <laughs> a some eggnog of course, you'll need some ground nutmeg, this is optional just for garnishing, and of course you, you'll need some coffee, and you'll need a measuring glass. Okay, so what you're going to do first is brew your coffee, and you can brew anything from one-fourth a cup to one cup, just depending on how much coffee you want in there. So I went ahead and I brewed some coffee into the measuring glass so then I can measure out how much I wanted, because I have a Keurig and I don't know the exact measurement of how much is in each little... I don't know. So I went ahead and I did half a cup because I want my latte to have a lot of coffee in it and so it's all up to you on how much you put in there. So now I'm taking my cute cappuccino mug. It's like a Disney mug. I don't know. It's really cute. And I am putting in the desired amount of coffee in there and just putting that to the side and I was just measuring it out and making sure that I had the perfect amount of coffee that I wanted. Okay guys so now I am taking my measuring glass I just rinsed it out real quick you don't have to rinse it out but I just decided to do it so then I didn't have coffee all in my eggnog part. So now I am measuring out three-fourths a cup of eggnog. After doing a little bit of experimenting, I realized that it actually works better if you do one-half a cup of eggnog and then one-fourth a cup of milk. It just foams better and stuff. So it's all up to you. And now I am taking my jar and just opening it up and pouring the eggnog mixture into it. And then I am just sealing it up. I almost put it on without the lid part, and uh, that wouldn't have gone well in the next section. So now you're just going to shake it really, really hard for, um, like, I wind up, it said 30 seconds to a minute, but I wound up doing, like, two minutes just to make sure that I shook it well enough because if you don't shake it well enough then it won't foam so just shake it with all of your frickalackin power like shake it like a Polaroid picture it reference <laughs> I know I'm so funny so just shake it really 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 good like uh, just shake it with all your might girl do it okay and so just keep doing it until it starts to foam up on the top. Now you're just going to put your thing with the lid off, unless you want to blow your house down, into your microwave and just put it in there for 30 seconds and that should help it foam up. Okay, so now that it looks like this you want it to have a little more foam but you're just going to take your coffee and pour the eggnog foam mixture in there and I went ahead and I like used a spoon to scrape out all the foam because I love that foam so I just scraped it into there and stuff and then I carefully stirred it around and that's what it should look like so now I'm just like readjusting my camera and now I'm taking my ground nutmeg 
And I'm just going to sprinkle a tiny, tiny bit just to garnish it and make it look really cute and Tumblr. Okay, guys, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you try to make this, um, if you try to make this, then you should DM it to me or something like that. I will put my social medias in the description below. And, yeah, I hope you have a nice week, and bye!